Evening everyone, it's um, Saturday evening here. Uh, kids are in bed, great, and I'm just gonna give you a weekly update on what I've been doing. Um, actually, first off, I must give a big shout out to Daniel Oster. I uh, hope I've pronounced your surname correctly there. Daniel has really kindly offered to send me a replacement 30 kilowatt BMS system. Um, I don't know if you, if you remember on some of my previous videos, my BMS that I've got has some damage on it. Uh, I've got the replacement parts. Um, but there's always going to be the uncertainty that I get the placement parts and I don't still don't get it fixed or it has some other inherent issue. Uh, Daniel's offered to send me one, so big thumbs up. Thank you very much. Um, I'll put a link below to Daniel's YouTube channel. Uh, he's got some really good information on replacing battery packs in Nissan Leafs and CAN bus bridges. So if you want some extra information about uh, Nissan Leafs and uh, bits and pieces, go check Daniel's channel out. And again, Daniel, thank you very much for sending that across. Um, so where am I this week? I haven't done a great deal. Um, I'm taking apart the RX-8, the original one, which has kind of taken up a lot of my free time doing it. I'm doing a kind of time-lapse video of that, so uh, I'm not sure how that's going to pan out, if it's going to be any good. Hopefully it will be, um, just stripping the car down. I've got that to the point now whereby I need to do some heavy lifting, so getting the, end, getting the motor out, getting the gearbox out, and cutting a lot of the welding that I've done, the frames that held all the batteries, because to be honest, none of it's going to be any good for the Leaf. Uh, tech. So that's all coming out. I've also got all the batteries out, so that's great. I can now test all the batteries, charge them, discharge them, see what their condition is, their health, and get them sold, because I don't need those anymore, and they're big, heavy, and just take up a lot of space, and I don't like them lying around, because they're dangerous. So that's all good. Um, what else? So what I've done over here, let me just show you. I've actually put the charger, or the power delivery module, on top of the inverter and motor and it all behaves exactly the same. So all this is doing is just passing through the high voltage which I've now got down here with my lovely little bit of insulation here. Um, and instead of this being plugged straight into the inverter, it's now plugged into the power delivery system and it's not even powered on and it still just delivers power to the inverter. Doesn't, it's not doing anything, which is great. So that's sat on top there, I can now, I've. Uh, well, I can now try and get this working, power it up, see if it talks to me. I have had a little go, I've only spent about 20 minutes, I have it powered, um, I have it plugged into the same EV can as the inverter, and um, I couldn't hear any traffic, couldn't hear any noise, um, nothing being discussed, so not spent time on it. Uh, as I say, I've been spending a lot of time on the RX-8. Now, what I've also done here is I've started to power it all with a 12 volt car battery. Um, over here, I've got my lab uh, power supply but I realized that if I get the DC to DC converter working and it starts chucking out 13 and a half volts to charge the battery it would actually start chucking it out and it would probably blow up my lab um, power supply because that's obviously not designed to receive <laughs> any voltage so I thought safely first let's get that plugged in uh, with the 12 volt battery so it's all powered up but as I say not got anything out of it yet but uh, not really spent a great deal of time Got all the wiring, got all the manuals for it, uh, everything I need. There's the pinouts here as well. Um, and I got a ton of information on my computer upstairs that people have tested. And, and people seem to have got the DC to DC working, doing a pulse width modulation uh, of about 7 volts or, or 7 hertz. So I haven't really got my head around it yet. Um, the Arduino actually gives out pulse width um, modulation if I need it to. So I might be able to trick the DC to DC to working quite easily if that's all I need to do. Um, as for the actual full charging, no idea. Not, not really got much further with that yet. So that's kind of it really. Not a great deal to report this week. As I say, I spent a lot of time on the car outside stripping it down. Um, I have also, I had a spare DC to DC converter. for It does about 76 volts to 120 volts down to 13.8. Uh, for a charger. I've got that on eBay now, so if anybody wants to buy a DC to DC converter, I'll put the link below as well. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I get a lot of messages, a lot of people comment, I put my email address in a few bits and pieces, so I get a lot of emails as well, much to my sin, and people are asking questions about batteries. So I'm going to do a little mini series, um, probably three episodes on batteries, just really basic stuff, so a little bit more complicated. First one would be just what are batteries, how do they work, how do you do them in series and parallel, which I guess probably a lot of people subscribing know, but then it appears that a lot of people don't know as well. So doing a little episode on that. Uh, another episode on battery charging, so you know different types of batteries, how they charge, why, why do they charge, constant current, constant voltage. Again, a lot of confusion about how that all works and why you need to do it. 
and probably the final one on battery management systems so balancing essentially why do you need to balance what, what that's all about uh, I tend to forget that because I understand it I tend to think everybody understands it but that's not the case <laughs> so I'll do a few videos uh, on the side because I think progress at the moment is going to be a little slow for another week again while I'm taking apart the RX-8 so if I do these other videos on the side that will just keep me interested in, in what's going on so subscribe, you'll see those videos probably over the next couple of days pop up and, um, and I'll update on the leaf as I, as I make a bit more progress. Catch you later.